I have a, a bulldozer with a plow on the back of it, and as the bulldozer's going through the woods, it, the plow's sinked in the ground, and it makes a fire line anywhere from four to six feet wide, depending on how deep we put the plow. And that's, uh, you got to think of fire as a fire triangle. There's three sides to a fire. One is the heat, which is the actual flames itself. The other is oxygen, which we have plenty in the atmosphere. And the other part of it is fuels. Everything is fuel. I mean, the trees, the ground, the palm meadows, everything is fuels. With our fine fuels, which are pine needles, it's very easy for it to ignite. So what we're trying to do with our uh, tractor plow units is remove the fuels and put in the plow. And, and that's going down into mineral uh, dirt. So that will stop the, the movement of the fire. So that's why we had the tractor plow units here in Florida. And so there's no way that the fire can jump across the line once it's... Well, it, it can, depending on the flame lengths. And the palmettas here, you're looking at probably about three foot tall palmettas. And the flame lengths on that can go anywhere from two and, two and a half to three times the height of it. So, and then if the wind's blowing, again, the uh, plow line's only about six feet wide. If you have tall enough palmettas with the flame length, mm -hmm. it can lean over with the wind and catch the fuels on the other side. Mm -hmm. Or we get what's called a spot fire. Any one of these little palmetto fronds right here burn off right at the stalk, and then those would go into the atmosphere and land over in this area. That's what we call a spot fire. So that's why it's important that you know we get okay. a good line, we burn it out, so we don't have any potential for the uh, spot fires to happen or for any of the flare-ups right along the edge, which the other side can catch.